Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to version 2 of C++ Crash Course. In this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about deep and shallow copies in C++. So to get started, we'll look at the shallow copy example, and we'll be using this class int array that has two data members, an int pointer, and then just a normal integer. So what does it mean to do a shallow copy um, of an object of this class int array? So when we're doing something like a shallow copy, we end up copying the data members, but not what they point to, right? So if we have some data um, that this pointer points to, we're just going to copy the pointer and not that backing data. You can think of it like we're just copying the bits of one object to another object. So let, let's go ahead and see an example of how we get this. So with this int pointer and this int, if we go ahead and do a def or default the copy constructor, we end up getting a shallow copy here. Now the default copy constructor doesn't always give you a shallow copy. If we say had a std string or std vector here, we would actually get a mix of shallow copy and deep, co uh, deep copy. Um, but in this case, because we just have an int pointer and an int, um, we're just going to get a shallow copy. If you're interested in kind of how that works, I'll go ahead and provide a link below um, that details this thing called if something is trivially copyable or not. So there's another thing we also have to keep in mind is not just the copy constructor if we're making a copy, but also the assignment operator, right? So we could have an object that's already created um, and we could do an assignment of one object to another object. So these are kind of two things we have to think about in terms of whether or not we're doing a deep copy or shallow copy. So down here inside of our example, um, we see we've got our constructor here that just allocates and sets a data pointer using new, so we're doing a heap allocation here. And then we end up deleting or freeing that memory inside of the destructor. Now inside of our main function, what we end up doing is we create one int array, A1, with 10 elements. We initialize all those elements. Then you see we make a copy here using the copy constructor, so we're making a new object, A2, based on A1. Then here we make an object just using the normal constructor, A3, and then we use the default assignment operator. So we didn't specify this, this one was just generated for us. And this will also end up doing a shallow copy. So what do we expect from these three values and why might we want to um, understand more about deep and shallow copies? Well, let's go ahead and see. So we'll go ahead and do G++ on shallow copy. We'll call the output, say shallow, and let's run it. So I went ahead and just dumped the contents and the pointers for each of these objects. So for A1, A2, and A3, you see they all have the exact same pointer. That means it may not be doing what we intuitively think it would, right? We have three different objects, but the memory for those three objects, right, that's pointed to by the data pointer is exactly the same, right? So if I change, say, an element in one of my int arrays, it actually changes the element in all of them because it's the exact same memory. The pointer uh, goes to the exact same place. Now, we also have another bug here. So if we go back into our code and open up shallowcopy.cpp, look at our destructor, right? They're all calling delete on the same pointer. Now, in this case, it didn't cause my program to crash just because it's at the end of main. So sometimes you won't end up actually seeing a crash there. So let's go ahead and you know use a debugger just to show that it is an error there and debuggers can catch this. Uh, multiple calls or double freeze or even triple freeze in this case. So the first one we'll use is just valgrind real quick. So we can call valgrind with our example shallow. And if we go ahead and go up here, you know what do we end up seeing? Uh, we end up seeing an invalid free here and actually two invalid frees, right? We have three objects all pointing to the same place. We end up calling uh, three different frees. We have two of them being invalid, right? So we have an inv invalid free that's being called by our destructor right here. So this tilde int array and another free uh, called by our destructor, um, right? So we end up getting kind of a bug here. Another way we could check this um, is using a sanitizer. So we'll use address sanitizer. So we can go ahead and uh, compile this again. I'll put it in, uh, I'll compile it with debug and then I'll do dash F sanitize equals address. Now, when I go ahead and run shallow, you see I, I get this again. So attempting a double free here, right? So it ends up telling me that I got, that I had a double free inside of my constructor at line 54 in shallow copy, right? So we have a bug here. So we have to be careful about these things. We have to know the difference between a deep copy and a shallow copy. So now we know what a shallow copy is. Let's get into a deep copy. 
So let's go ahead and open up deep copy.cpp. And you see, we're going to handle things a little bit differently. So instead of relying on, say, our default copy constructor, our default copy constructor couldn't figure out that we needed to copy the data behind this data pointer. Um, likewise, we also need to implement our operator equals, right? We don't want to just do um, a copy of the pointer. We want to copy the data as well. So down here, you see everything else is the same, except we're going to end up implementing our own copy constructor for when we're creating a new object based on another one. So we'll pass in some right-hand side. So this will be, you know, inter a, a2 is equal to a1. a1 is the right-hand side. We'll get the size. We'll get the uh, data. So we'll allocate some new data um, or a new pointer or a new piece of memory based upon the size from the right-hand side. And then we just copy the data element by element into data. We could also use something like student mem copy here. And then we'll also implement uh, this operator equals. So we do a very similar thing, except we may have already allocated some memory if we have an object that's already been created. So we have a small optimization here where we just see if they are um, a different size, right? If it's the exact same you know, piece of memory, we don't actually need to do an allocation here, right? And we can just copy the data directly. So here we're just checking if the size is not equal. If it's not equal, we just you know, free our pointer and then we just set the new size and then allocate you know, however much memory we need based upon you know, what's on the right hand side of that equals statement. Then we just copy all the elements. And then here, just based upon you know, the way this oper operator equals works, it returns this int array. So we end up returning uh, this dereferenced. And this just points to the current object. Um, and it's a pointer, so we end up dereferencing it to get an int array. Otherwise, we have a pointer to an int array. So down here, you see we've got the exact same main function. We create an uh, int array, a1, set the contents, use the copy constructor here, use the assignment um, operator here, and then we print the three values, right? The values for all of those arrays and also the pointers. So let's go, go ahead and see what happens here. So I'll just do g++ on deep copy.cpp um, dash o, and we'll just call it deep copy, and then we'll run it. And you see that now I've got three different pointers. So this one's at E70, this one's at EA0, this one's at EF0. So now I'm not going to have that, you know, multiple freeze going on. So if I run this with, say, Valgrind, right, uh, and we run deep copy, you see it doesn't spit out any errors for me, right? It's, it got the correct number of allocations and freeze. We didn't have any leaks um, and, not, and no, you know, double freeze. Um, the same thing would happen if we said used um, address sanitizer and we tried to run this again. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. As always, you can check out any of these examples at github.com slash coffee before arch. So here under CPP crash course, under fundamental concepts, objects, and then copies, you can go ahead and download these, play around with them. Let me know if you have any questions. And as always, I'm Nick. Hope you have a nice day.